anything you must love that toy so much, giving it a bunch of little kisses. So we have dried onion flakes. About two tablespoons. Onion powder, about a tablespoon. Garlic powder, about a tablespoon. Salt, maybe a teaspoon. Pepper. You go generous on the pepper. Tablespoon. Sage. Tablespoon of that. Celery flakes. I'm putting like dried versions of all of the stuff that I'm going to put in in a fresh form. Alright, celery flakes. Then, the all important thyme, which is really what makes chicken soup taste like chicken soup. And you can just throw it in like that, all of those little leaves will fall off. We got some rosemary and some sage. Cover that up. So the chicken's in there. Let that come to a boil for an hour and 15 minutes. Then tear the chicken apart, add all of the vegetables, and it'll be done in about an hour and 45 minutes. Cut them small for the cat. She eats soup too, and her little mouth has trouble with these carrots. Okay, here we go. standard for Italian recipes, cover the bottom of the pan or the pot, whatever you're using. So give that a couple minutes. So I put a bit of water in, into the oil and once that starts to boil and evaporate, that's when I know the oil is hot enough to add the onion. Okay, so we know that the oil is hot enough now. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour in that onion. You should hear it sizzling immediately. Something important to note, don't put salt into this mix yet. It will make the onion sweat too much. It'll dehydrate it. So not yet. Cover it in oil and let it just hang out for two or three minutes until the, the onions become translucent. So have a look. A couple of these onions are still a little bit white to me. Some of them are becoming more translucent, but this needs a little bit more time before I add the garlic because garlic cooks so fast. And I need these onions not to be caramelized, but I need them to be sweet before the garlic even enters the equation because that's how I know that it's gonna be a good base for the sauce. So you can see that 
So you guys saw me chop up the garlic before, so I'm just gonna add that to the onions because if you look, they look just the same color as the olive oil. And that's how I know that they're halfway done, essentially. But I'm gonna try to sprinkle the garlic, but I have a feeling it's gonna come out in a clump. Oh, kind of. Now I just need to stir it so that that garlic makes contact with the hot oil that is cooking everything. For those people who like to go light on fats, um, it's not a surprise that your food cooks more slowly because fat is great at transferring heat and it's also essential to transferring flavor. So if your food is less flavorful when you use less fat, that's not surprising either. I don't know why I'm like all about fat right now, but it's important. Olive oil is one of God's gifts. This is gonna take like at least three minutes to cook and I don't wanna stand here and watch it, so I'm gonna set a timer. Lazy cook, that's good. Let's start adding the seasoning. So I'm taking some black pepper. I would say this is like a teaspoon and a half, a teaspoon of salt. I don't like to add a lot of salt. I feel like everyone has a different salt preference, so I just let them add it. About a tablespoon of onion powder. About a tablespoon of garlic powder. I like to add a little bit of heat. A little. A teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Because some people don't like heat. But even if you don't like heat, I think it adds a tone, a flavor. And then I'm gonna say like, two tablespoons of oregano. I don't love oregano, but it adds an Italian kind of vibe to a dish, so. Okay, and then lastly, I'm just gonna add a little bit of parsley. Oh, this one's new, hang on, let me take it off. Take okay. it off. Oh, that smells so fresh. I'm gonna put an, uh, a tablespoon of parsley. That smells wonderful. Okay, cool. So this one goes back in my spice cabinet. I'm gonna give everything a stir. It's important to put your spices in in this beginning stage when you're sauteing because like I said, oil is a vehicle for flavor. And if you can infuse the olive oil that you've used to saute the onion and the garlic with all of these spices, you're gonna get a better flavor Gross. payoff than if you just throw it into the throw it into the tomato sauce. You can also like smell the change in aroma. Yeah. Just like I'm smelling oregano, I'm smelling the hot pepper, like I'm smelling all of like the garlic. I almost forgot an essential Italian ingredient. Fresh basil. A lot of times people will add this at the end of the, the process so that you can eat it while it's fresh and that's totally valid and I probably will still do that, but I also want this to be in the sauce. Infused in the oil. Yeah. Because I ran out of dried basil, so I really do actually need this. Okay, so that was my three minute timer. Um, lo and behold, the garlic is approaching being done, but because I added so much spice that kind of soaked up a lot of olive oil, my wrist is tired. Okay, let's check out this again. All right, you guys, this is done. The garlic is starting to stick to the bottom. Everything smells toasted. I don't know how else to describe it. It, it smells like it's cooked. So I'm gonna go in with whole Italian plum tomatoes. They're in a sauce, okay? Not water, sometimes they're in water. Again, I have another can of Oops, whole Italian plum tomatoes. Sorry, Freddy, I just got sauce all over him. And then lastly, I have a can of just plain tomato sauce. I'm giving that a stir to make sure that the bottom isn't gonna burn. I had this originally at medium to high heat to saute the onions and garlic, but right now I'm gonna, I'm gonna dial it back to about low to medium. I'm gonna let this cook for at least two hours. This is the difference between a marinara sauce and a true red sauce. 
a marinara, this would be done. This is done. And you know what? I need to add a little bit of sugar. I forgot. I have brown sugar. I don't have any white sugar anymore. I ran out and I forgot to buy more, but brown sugar works just as well. You could also use syrup or honey or anything, agave, whatever. Whatever is sweet, but canned tomatoes are very acidic and you can use sugar to combat that acidity. So that's just about a tablespoon of sugar and that's pretty much all you'll ever need. So there you go. You have a marinara sauce. Blend up these plum and tomatoes, but marinara sauce is characteristically a little bit more acidic, a little bit more biting than a true red sauce, which is what you would eat with meatballs or over pasta or with pasta bolognese. Marinara you might have on a pizza where you want that flavor to really kick. But right now what I need to do is slowly cook this for about two hours. These tomatoes by the time we're done will be completely dissolved. And that's how you make a true red sauce. So this is pretty much done. All it is is a time commitment. <laughs> greater compliment than a gristly soup. <laughs> There's no grist on this one. We took it out. Okay, so fun. Sauce. You got the sauce. So I know this sauce is done because it's significantly thicker than when it started, so it's reduced down. Also, as I'm spooning through, and I haven't really done anything to break up these tomatoes, the slow and low heat has completely broken up those whole plum tomatoes that we started off with. So this looks done to me. On top of that, I also tried it. It's very sweet, it's not acidic, it's flavorful, and it's perfect. So we're going to add meatballs that Freddie and I made last night. We're just gonna pop those in. So these are pretty much cooked. They, they are cooked, they're safe to eat. But if you warm them up and cook them a little bit in the sauce, they'll become juicier and more tender. So I'm going to let this sauce cook for another 10 to 20 minutes and basically infuse the meatballs with the sauce flavor and then it's, and then it's done. There you have it. Authentic Italian sauce with meatballs. You guys saw me chop up the garlic before, so um, I have to say that again. Um, I need to say that again. Uh, it is a poor conductor. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do this. 